up guys and gals, Aristus Frogs here, and I'm um, going to be playing the newest patch, which is the newest as of uh, June of this year of um, Resident Evil 1.5, sort of as a little Halloween celebration, I guess. Um, I've been keeping up with the patches on this game as much as possible. I'm not at all sure what's new in this patch from the last patch and the last time I even played the patch before that I played it one time and I played it like three or four months ago so um, if you don't know what Resident Evil 1.5 is I don't know I'm kind of getting a little bit tired of explaining it at this point it's just it was going to be Resident Evil 2 and it got cancelled but if you want to look up the information about it Wang um, all types of big YouTubers have gone really deep into depth on Resident Evil 1.5, um, so it's just, it was canceled because people, the Capcom team wasn't satisfied with the outcome, it would have ended the series, so since it wasn't released, fans really wanted it, somebody got a hold of it. And since then, a guy named Martin Biohazard has been making new patches and trying to rebuild the rooms like they were supposed to be, and kind of trying to rebuild the story, as far as I know, pretty close to what he thought the original was going to be. So, still fairly incomplete game, but um, interesting stuff, so... But like I had said, if you've seen other people play the June 2019 patch or just wondering if this is like a brand new patch that I got on like the DL or something, I didn't. So, you know, you can go ahead and exit now if you wish. Because um, while I'm playing this, since there's a lot of bland areas and going to be running back through a lot of areas that have I probably already would have ran over, at that point, um, I'm going to be talking about other things, just other things going on in the gaming world, um, stuff going on with Vic, uh, the Vic situation and shit like that, so let's uh, do it. And I'm not very accustomed to the PSX controls, so just a fair warning. So, um, I always start out with Leon, so I'll go ahead and start out with Leon. Well, that's just freaking great. Now what am I going to do? Nothing different there. Sure, I just run over to this gate, press on it. Yeah. Still no door opening animations or anything yet. I, I like going into these patches blind, not knowing what's new in it because it's basically just like a surprise where you really don't know what you're gonna. Come across, it's basically like playing a brand new game every single time. Might as well give myself the op gun. Um, I think I'll go through this door first. I don't, the only thing that I don't like about this patch, if I remember correctly, is when you kill the enemies, they come back. Which I normally wouldn't have a problem, but when you're trying to explore a patch and see what's new and stuff, it kind of becomes, because 
I'm gonna walk into this door to see if anything's new in here. I think this might be the chief's office, but I'm not sure. But then right when I come back outside of this door, all of these guys are gonna be back in the hallway, I think. Unless he changed that. So let's see what's up in here. Yeah, this yeah, this is the chief's office. This was uh, new on the last batch. There he is, I'm playing right there. I think he says something. I'll be fine, just worry about yourself for now. Yeah, that was a really cool addition. Last patch. Um, because for those of you that might maybe might know of this but haven't kept up with the patches there's like at least 20 or 30 rooms that were not accessible at all before that are accessible alright I gotta be ready to shoot because I think all these guys are gonna be back now
Alrighty, here we go. Sorry for that interruption, I had a call. See, in the beta version of this that came out, this room didn't exist. Nothing exists. Huh. So, yeah, you weren't like able to walk over and pick up anything. I think this might be some sort of ammo. Alright. So all these areas were just constructed by uh, Martin, Biohazard. You gotta keep in mind that this was built with the RE2 engine, which obviously this person doesn't have, or maybe they do have. Oh look, there's ammo in here. Okay. Um, but honestly, I'd like to see this become a full game, because the creep I just like the creepy atmosphere, and even though stuff looks blocky and stuff, I mean look at this, look at the back of Leon's uniform. It got messed up from getting attacked by those crows. I mean, that's to me, that's more realistic than him like hunching over and grabbing his stomach or something for damage. Like for an early game like this, that's really cool. So let's go ahead and open up these shutters. And I think that a bunch of zombies come out or Martin. Yeah, it's or Marvin. Sorry. Yeah. This is all constructed by Martin Biohazard 2. Marvin. Leon, you're alive. How was it up there? Yeah, the chopper is gone and the chief is messed up pretty bad. Everyone has either been eaten or by zombie or is turning into one. Oh man. Hey, let's see if anyone else is still alive. Why? Why would he say why? So we can break out and escape. You think we've got a chance? There's always a chance, Leon. You know, we can cover more ground if we split up. Good idea, good luck. Yeah, but there's also a good chance... Uh, you two. There's also a good chance you're gonna get fucked up if you split up. I mean, it would be cool if Martin was like coming along with you. Is this guy gonna... Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Fuck. Get him. The fuck, dude? Why is my gun missing? Fuck. What the hell is going on? Oh, shit. There we go. I don't know why it was missing before. Probably just a weird angle. Alright. I think that this just leads me back to that one room with the radios and shit, but I'm not sure. Alright, this guy's definitely gonna get up. Get up, bro. Can I just shoot? No. Okay.
bet that they're all gonna come alive now. Yep. Do it. Alright, let's see this through this door. Final one had the excuse that it was a museum turned into a police station. So I mean that was an interesting take, but it would just be nice to see uh, this become a full game. This is a door. How do I get to this desk area? Fight a bunch of zombies. Damn. 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 Yeah, they're running too. Is that the last one? Right now, the oh shit. Okay, that's cool. There wasn't anybody in here left in here before. Let's break up the chest. Oh my god. Soda. It's an elevator. It seems that it has no power. We'll use the stairs. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, they got me. I think this guy's just a part of the background. Yeah. Let's see if I can interact. It's a police officer. There's a power. I might do something with that. There's Leon, an electrician on the side. Alright, here's the first floor. I know there's gonna be some. Just look how fucked up his uniform got. I mean, that's cool. I enjoy that. Bunch of guys on the other side of these shutters. I can hear them creeping around. I think this is the lobby, which I know is going to be full. Yeah, here they come. See, this is was in the original, but actually, I think in the original. The Vanilla version, they don't break out like this, they're just already in the room. So I think this is uh...
across. The only thing that I think would be improved is their body should just disappear and die. Alright, where are you guy? Can I get a headshot? Pretty sure I can. Where did he go? Because I can even do that. How many guys have came out of here so far? It's like unlimited fucking zombies. Shit. Now, I think he might have this program to have a. That's. That's cool as fuck if he has unlimited zombies coming out of there. Let's, try the, let's just try all of our fucking weapons. It's That's why he has it set up like that, his lie, because it's just, uh, you can't actually get to speak to a real person. So, he might have picked that company on purpose just because he knows nobody's actually going to be able to get hold of him. This is probably the door to the restroom. The door is locked, there must be a key somewhere, okay? Look at that cutie. There's a stairwell here. Might go down to the basement area. But I should probably go through that other door first. Let's so we'll check this. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot how they respawn. It's through here. Alright, we're outside. What's going on? Uh, how am 
I supposed to do this? I remember this from the other one, and I couldn't figure it out. Like, is there, like, a fucking fire extinguisher somewhere? It's not letting me interact with it. Yeah, fire is hot. Maybe there's some way to get around. It's probably what you need the key for, because that door might lead to like another door that will let you in there. Damn. There's gotta be some way to open these fucking shutters. Okay, is this a way? Yes. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be a couple guys. Is there 
any point to this room besides ammo. I get anything. Any keys. Oh, no, doesn't seem like it. I'm not seeing anything I can pick up, so I gotta go back into this creepy ass hallway with 200 zombies. might be in the basement because I can't find anything else that looks like it'll do anything. So let's head back over her. Shotgun on him. Hmm. Okay. Is that different than my other shotgun, or is it the same? No, it's the same. Okay. I need to, uh, buy. I'm running out of room. Alright, let's go to the basement. But yeah, you know, I I was getting really pissed the other night because it's ba basically KV is just trying to destroy Vic's life. I mean, especially when it comes to that Hickory Show guy, this guy that claims he works for the convention center that KC Kamehakon uh, is at. I mean, they're just trying to destroy his life. I mean, you're going to really post the number of a con that's coming up, dude, and try to fucking have 200 people fall. Like, why don't you just call, give them the complaint, and then let them make a decision from there? No, he wants there to be 300 people calling and harassing the convention to the point that they might not want Vic to come because they're just getting tired of getting calls. Okay, so we got... Basements are there. Ooh, a typewriter. Okay. Uh, There's some sort of item right next to it too. Can I interact with that? No. Um I'm just gonna do them one because if I do this one I might forget the other one. Trying to go floor by floor. Here, just give me, uh, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Yeah, I mean, their their excuses for um, reporting uh, Vic's wrongdoings, which are all just allegations to the conventions, is for people's protection. Like, all right, that's creepy. See, this is creepy shit. Like, you can barely fucking see, and there's a zombie just standing right around the corner. backgrounds are a little messed up, but I get what he's going for there. Alright, let's go into this creepy basement door number one. We got in here. Oh, oh. shit! You got me. Look at those, look at that dog. That is fucking creepy. That's a lot creepier than 
final versions look. There's still another dog too. I hear him. Yep. Last one. I think so. Yeah, look, look at the names on these. There's Claire. Can't read these other ones, but there's Claire, uh, Pierce. That's a RE6. JoJo. That's a JoJo reference for all you JoJo fanatics out there. And then Rocky. I'm not sure where Rocky comes from. Not that tune with the other RE games. There's some corridor that we can't get to. Okay. There's nothing in the locker, at least that I found. I think this guy's gonna hold me up. Watch when I step. You hear that? It's actually processing that I'm stepping on metal. For a game made in 1996, that is uh, pretty impressive. Oh, that's uh, a little bit weird. For some reason, it, the picture came up as an ink. A little bit buggy, but I mean, it works. Alright, so right when I go through this door, there's going to be a motherfucker right in my face. I'm sure he's going to rev re up, so we're going to have to be ready to shoot. <laughs> I have a screwdriver, but I can't. 
tell if I do. Is that weird? Uh, all these guys are still gonna be alive. This other fucker out. Nice try. Better luck next time. Okay, we got a cutscene here. Hey, hey!
Hopefully they're not just alive again. That would suck. something to say you can use the wrench here <laughs> okay yeah that's why I'm trying to find Ada because she could probably help me coming out of the fucking police car. Maybe there's something later where I get to talk to her.
search all these cells and see if there's something in them. Realistically, there wouldn't be shit. Whoa. Okay. Got a bunch of hands coming out. So, obviously there's going to be a bunch of fucking guys in these, but let's play devil's advocate and see. Okay then, there's not guys in here. I guess that's just creepy. It is creepy, but it's not realistic. I mean, you can only do so much. Martin's doing a great job with this. It'd be nice if there was at least something you could find in these cells. I'm certain. 
searched every single room, I think. Yeah, I've searched that room. This is where I came in. It's a stairwell. So the elevator up there will work now, so I wonder if that'll take me to a level I haven't been to yet. Yeah, it does what I do. I skip the stairs. I feel like something's gonna happen, maybe, if I go back. Let me go back to that room, Sh Sherry, because I'm supposed to be able to get to that fucking sewer grate somehow. Maybe with electrical power, maybe something will happen in that room. Okay. Now there's a dog in here. Oh shit. <laughs> So, but it won't be easy. Come on, I'll show you the way. Okay, let's move. It's a cool little cutscene here. Alrighty, just give me one second. on me. It did. It just froze. Okay. Thank God. I was hoping it didn't freeze. Okay. That ladder's broken, so. That was an area that was accessible on the vanilla, but you had to jump to it, so he's made the connecting cords now.
stepping on the tape. Just gotta fix the boundaries a little bit. But... Yeah, I don't, I don't need any ammunition right now. I have enough to take down a fucking army. This is probably. Aren't these RPD officers? Oh man, they must be from a squad in breath. Uh, we don't know what's up ahead. Stay alert, Leon. Marvin, what about that woman? Ada, she went on ahead. She didn't seem to be disturbed at all by this massacre. There's a ton of things I need to ask her next time I see her. Like, is she DTF? All these guys are gonna come alive, I know. Marvin is not is not following me. This was accessible in the beta also, but you gotta remember you had to jump to all these places to get to it. So. Well, I mean, it won't let me. Let's say it won't let me walk up the fucking stairs. Using the ID card, I didn't even know I had an ID card. What was that noise? You. Where's that other guy? Wasn't he with you? Marvin is out in the hall. Ada, what have you been doing anyway? What happened to the tunnel? Police officer corpse. It's going way too fast. That's really bad. These things. <sighs> I can't read. It's going way too fast. Said something about the glass won't hold all the zombies back. Alright, let's do this fucking door. I think this is where you meet a uh, Birkin. Oh, that's the door I came in. Okay, I got switched around. Okay. Are you okay? That wound, did those things get you? All's no good. You're broken side. Say what? Entire place is overrun. Wasn't able to read that fucking whole paragraph. Yeah, this is where Birkin is. playing this cutscene now. It's really strange. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think I came in through that brown door.
not letting me interact with anything, so... Whatever. Where am I supposed to push this fucking box? On this, I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to push this box. Is it blocking That's what I'm supposed to use the wrench on? I don't know. Shit, you got me. Uh, gotcha. I was saying the breaker switch was flipped down before, so why don't I flip it up? Got a fucking wrench, for some reason it won't budge. Alright. For some reason it's calling it pliers. I don't think I went into this door. Yeah, I did. Oh. Okay. Is there anywhere that we can try to travel to in here? Thank you. 
fucked up. That's got to be William Birkin. Ada, what is this place? Just hurry up, okay? This room here. Okay. It's the laboratory. That wound. Yeah, we need to hurry. Ada, just who are you anyways? Don't tell me. There's no time to talk right now. If we don't hurry, he's gonna die. What should we do? It's a virus that makes people turn into those things. Where's the vaccine? Virus inhibitor. Ada, what's wrong? Yeah, I can't help you. Wait, what? There's something I have to do. Help me out a lot, but I have to do this myself. I'll do it on my own if I have to. Please tell me what should I do. The rest of it should be in this laboratory somewhere. Should I handle the rest of it? The rest I can't read. Just gotta make the text go a little bit slower. Yeah, we gotta save Bart. can't go with the fucking stereotype of black guys first to die of the like main cast obviously a lot of people died here but they were already dead basically we got a green key card and we got a fucking thing I can't carry it's like stupid shit we got a gun with no bullets the fuck is a goddamn item box when you need it? Got a useless ass fucking wrench. Something's breaking in. Go ahead, I'll take care of this. Let me handle this. What is it? I'd rather just take the fucking elevator. This definitely is new. I don't remember this working at all before. <laughs> Text on the panel reads, door is under emergency lockdown. ID card required to unlock it. So is that gorilla beating on the door, I guess? I don't know. So this is pretty close to how it was in the original game. This part is like basically exactly the same. Okay, I have an ID card. Right here. Alright. Work. Don't work, it don't work. It's too dark to tell what it is. Okay, so I need to get some 
fucking power going in here. Do some fucking work beyond being a chump that doesn't know how to fucking fix anything. This is where you make the uh, fuse and the RE2. Because RE1.5 and RE2, there was leftover shit. It's not letting me talk to any of this stuff. So that's, this is where you usually make the main fuse. But I wouldn't be able to pick it up anyways because I have no fucking inventory space. It's great.
need to add something in the debug menu to like edit your inventory because I have too much shit. And there's gonna be items. Like I don't want to sit around and shoot a hundred bullets just to fucking get <laughs> one inventory space, but I might have to. I feel like I'm gonna get something important here. So. In the final game, they use this same exact scene, but they put the ivy plant there. So this is even basically the same as it was in the final game too. They reused a lot of stuff. Right there, maybe I'm supposed to push the box over there to get onto the upper 
fuck am I, dude? Alright, I have to use the demo.
really good fade in here. Oh. 